Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the uh, to find the cutting length of the stirrups. So in this lecture we are going to find the cutting length of the stirrups. The length of the stirrups used in the beam or column. This is the cross section of the beam and here I draw the 3D view of the uh, beam. You can see these are the stirrups. These are the stirrups actually represented. I draw the stirrups, the cross section of the stirrups here and this is the beam, the longitudinal bars here the four are the longitudinal bars and these bars are shown here in the uh, section this is the section, section view of this beam so uh, the four longitudinal bars are shown here and these are the four longitudinal bars in the 3D and while these are the stirrups to hold the longitudinal bars and they are also used to uh, resist uh, the shear stresses, the stirrups. So we are interested to find this cutting length of the stirrups. How much the length of the stirrups is used uh, uh, in this in this beam? So we are interested to find this length of the stirrups. So now we, we are going to find the cutting length of the stirrups. So this is the beam given to us. The dimensions are the uh, width of the beam is 500 mm, the depth of the beam is 600 mm, while the bar used uh, in the stirrups is 8 mm bar is using the stirrups and so now we are going to find the length of the stirrups the cutting length of the stirrups so this 500 mm is the width of this a beam so and the here the stirrups is is being supported by clear cover this is the clear cover we call it the clear cover and the clear cover and beam usually is 40 mm and similarly here is the clear cover clear cover similarly in this in this place also the clear cover and we have also in this place we also have clear cover so this strips is being protected uh, by this concrete here so we call it the clear cover and this clear cover is usually taken as 40 mm in this direction as well as in this direction so we are we are going to find the length of the stirrups so first of all we should know the depth the width of this beam which is given to us is 500 mm so so we can calculate let's suppose that the this width of the stirrup this width of the stirrup is represented by a this width we should find the width of the stirrup first so the width of the stirrup is represented by a and it can be found out that a is equal to the 500 mm which is the width of this beam and subtracting subtracting the two clear cover one is that one and one is that subtracting this one and this one is a 40 here and 40 here so minus 40 and minus 40 so we get the this width of the stirrups this length of the stirrups so this length is uh, by subtracting the we get 420 mm so the width uh, this length of the stirrup is 420 mm now we are interested to find this depth of the this depth of the stirrup which is being represented by b let's suppose this stirrup depth is represented by b so b will be equal to the 600 is the total depth is the total depth of the beam 600 minus similarly here we have cover here this is also the cover concrete cover which is also 40 mm 40 mm and here we also have clear cover which is 40 mm so subtracting this 600 uh, and these two will use 40 and 40 so we will get the required uh, depth of the stirrup 40 into 40 so what we get we get the 520 mm so these are the two values we are interested to find these two values so now the two value has been found out one is 420 and one is 520 mm so now and we should now calculate the this hook length how much this hook length is this hook length one hook length and the another hook length and this hook length this hook length so the one hook length is taken as 10 into diameter of the bar similarly the other is taken as 10 into diameter of the bar so now we are interested to find the total cutting length of this of the stirrup. So the total cutting length of this stirrup will be equal to the 
total length is equal to the this a in a one is below this width a and one is above a these are the two lengths of the stirrups so 2a plus and this b and this b there are two b's one here b one is here b so two b's plus two b plus two these are the two hooks here two so i write two and two ten and two diameter of the bar there is a formula for the to calculate the hook length and there are two hooks so i write a two here so now the length of the stirrups will be two is we found that the a is 420 420 plus b is 2 and to b is equal to 520 plus 2 plus 10 plus diameter of bar the stirrups used here as we know that the stirrups uh, bar used here is 8 mm so we put the 8 here so by calculating these values we will get the required length of the stirrups so it will be equal to the It will be equal to the from this value we get the 840 plus 1040 plus 160 coming from this three values so adding these three values we get the 2040 mm which which comes out to be 2.040 meter it means that the cutting length, the total length of the stirrups used in this beam cross section with the dimensions of 500 mm width and 600 mm depth with the clear cover. So we find the cutting length of the stirrups comes out to be 2.04 meter. This was the total length of the stirrups bar used in this beam cross section. We can now multiply this with the number of stirrups used. So we will get the total length of the stirrups only how much the length of the stirrups is used this is the length of the just one stirrup used this is the length of the one stirrup and beam used hope you guys understand and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video